WSA 9's Michael Quander was the only reporter to talk to Micaiah's mom today, and he asked her about how Micaiah should be remembered. Yeah, a tough day for family and friends. There was standing room only here at the House of Praise in Northeast D.C. as they gathered to remember a young girl whose life was snatched away. It was a funeral that shouldn't have had to happen. A celebration of life for a 10-year-old girl. These kids got to come see kids being buried. That's not cool. Thousands of people, family, friends, neighbors, came to remember Micaiah Wilson. And I wanted to make sure my baby goes well. Micaiah's parents wanted a funeral fit for a princess, something to capture the child she was with lights, pictures, and ice cream. She was special. She was outstanding. She was full of life. That was my everything. And she meant a lot to the people who came here, too. Micaiah was killed more than a week ago when a group of masked men who were caught on video started shooting up a crowd in Clay Terrace. Police found this car they used, but the suspects, they're still out there somewhere. There's no place to run. There's no place to hide. Speakers at the service called for the community to step up, asking them to come forward with information to hold these killers accountable. And you We didn't come outside to get shot and killed. We come outside to play. That's not right. And as Micaiah's parents are left feeling the pain of losing their little girl. Just numb. Some hope this service inspired someone, anyone, to do the right thing to hopefully prevent something like this from happening again. <laughs> Reporting in Northeast D.C., Michael Quander, WUSA 9. The family is begging anyone who knows something to call police right away. And remember, anything you report, you can do it anonymously.